is what is the difference? You know, Karnataka has certain, say, advantages. What is it that you think the areas that you could focus on and get that competitive advantage? To, which are the three or four areas you think Hyderabad could uh, compete with Karnataka? Yes, uh, yes. Uh, here we would like to say, you know, this cutting edge technologies and uh, the recent advent of uh, the artificial intelligence coming into being. This is where we would uh, love, like to take advantage of this, the cutting edge technologies and move forward. And this is the time where we have to act very fast and uh, seeing the demands and whatever the global requirements are there. And the ecosystem, what we have built for the past three decades, we have to reskill and upskill those mm -hmm. faculties and see that we are the leaders in AI. And we got this opportunity and we will thrive on it and we will be moving forward. And uh, we would be the top players in India and also at the global level, we would come up with the niche products of AI. Like what? Cyber security? Targets. Sorry? Which, which are the niche products? Like in AI products or in cyber security or in the data analytics or tomorrow's quantum mm -hmm. computing. So we have the centers of excellence over here. We create that sort of ecosystem where the innovation takes place, where the startups, we try to really encourage them to move forward. And the research and development, which is most important in the core. We are putting all our energies into it. And in terms of building that ecosystem, you know, our government, after we formed the government, we or trying to build an AI completely dedicated city where we will host R&D, we will host innovation, we will host startups, and we will invite all the big companies over there to have their product companies. Uh, which stage is that uh, now, this AI city that you're this, talking about? This AI city we are coming up with a 200 acre okay. campus, very near to our international airport. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, we have very good infrastructure facilities now trying to build. It's all them. set up or will take, is it ready already? No, no, we are going to do the ground baking in, in December. Okay, and expect, in, uh, when do you think it will? Maybe in a year's time. Okay. And in the meanwhile, the temporary campus. Right. Where we have, we will be having this AI innovation hub. will be in the midst of the city hmm. where the people will have access. And okay. people who are into this AI would come and put their innovation into that. And, their, you know, their knowledge would be used. And that will create a great platform for them to build the products. That's what, and the similar side of systems what we have. Like we have, you know, institutions like the T-Work, V-Hub and the T-Hub. Wow. These are all institutions where we try to build. And see that the ecosystem is there consistent all the time. So technology is abreast in terms of we absorbing our students. And secondly, what we have planning to do over the past two years is to create and build the talent. How do we build the talent? Right. That's more important. In all verticals of industry, I'm basically I'm also industry minister. So we, anybody to come to Hyderabad or come to our state of Telangana would l literally will see if the talent is available. Why people have come down to Hyderabad or to some part of our India? Because the talent was there. Now we have to build the great talent in the cutting edge technologies. That's how, you know, every year we graduate or all our universities and college graduates, about two lakh people. In, uh, in Telangana? All so. in Telangana. Right. Until and unless they are well advanced in this cutting edge technologies, they will be redundant. For them, we found that over a period of all these years, when there was a gap between industry and academia, we have to bridge the gap. The skill gap is there. So in order to fill that gap, we, on behalf of government, have come up with Young India Skills University, not only in terms of, you know, specific IT related, but in all 33 to 34 verticals of industry, we would like to 
give the talent to the industry you know many people graduate correct and they industry good needs yes. and industry needs people for their own consumption but uh, you know all these graduates may not be getting the jobs right whatever the industry requires we would like to produce the talent so we in order to bridge the talent we are coming up with in india skills university and on the statute we brought in a legislation and the university is in progress right now university is trying to having the admissions and it's absolutely industry driven and we have made ourselves very clear government will never have much role in running this institution excellent that's it will be industry driven and the present chairman of that university is anand mahindra oh so hmm. that you know industry will have that trust and faith in that university 